Tel Aviv to Theater Stock. <laughs> You like it? Yes, it's first time I've uh, been in, uh, in Zurich. Uh, last time I've been in, uh, in Switzerland, it was in Locarno Film Festival. Uh, different, but uh, it's a very nice city, yes. Can you hear him? I think his microphone is not on. Okay. Maybe we should change because what I say is not that interesting. Yeah, do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Today's session is about um, storytelling, yeah. as you heard already. Yeah. Uh, I'll try the clicker. Uh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> um, maybe you just want to shortly tell us who you are. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, I'm an Israeli. This is the uh, first time. I, I, I live in, uh, in Ramat Gan in Israel. I made, uh, I'm a director and writer. A feature film, uh, a, a, a fiction film. Uh, that's what I like uh, to do, and uh, feature film and short films. That's what I do. I, do, I didn't made a, a TV uh, series or something like that because uh, I, I like very much uh, uh, feature films. That's what I like from uh, I was a child. Uh, and uh, I made uh, uh, six uh, feature films in Israel and uh, five uh, short films. Uh, uh, if someone uh, saw a, a matter of size, uh, it's uh, about a bunch of uh, fat people that are going to be a sumo fighters. It's a comedy that I made, uh, uh, a magic man. We will all see them. Ah, you saw it? <laughs> no, and I'm not it. Okay, we we'll see. And uh, on port, a wooden land, uh, and now I have a, a new film called, uh, called uh, The Out of Waiting. It's a personal movie, and we talk about this too. Uh, how to make an idea, so... Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's dive into the first trailer. My name is Avram Kofinas. I come from far. I look for a man who saved my life in war. So Dore Iftanasu Bof Haristo. My mother died three months ago and my rabbi told me that only when I correct my relationship with my father, I will have a son. And you? What do you do in your life? I'm a whore. <laughs> There is a mistake. We are not together. Avram! Avram! Maybe you come with me to look for Papa Lukash. What did he tell you? That he's having the finest days of his life. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. 
So um, just to understand shortly, what's the story about in Magic Man? Magic Man, it's a story about a, a, a father and a son. A father is an old guy. He came from Saloniki when he was a child. He'd been in the Holocaust in the, in the Saloniki. He, 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 Kind of, uh, someone uh, saved his life when he was a child. Uh, he's a magician that work. Uh, a magician is not a Jewish, but a magician called Papa Lucas, and uh, uh, he was he, he worked with the magician, and that's how he saved his life. And uh, after he came to Israel, he didn't want to hear about. A Greek, a Saloniki, nothing, because they have uh, not the big thoughts about that. Uh, so he uh, have a, a, a new life in Israel, and he have a son, and his son has a search for uh, God. When he lost God, when he was in the Saloniki, he finds God, and. Uh, He's going to trip to find Papa Lucas, the, the guy that saved his life, and his uh, son come with him to the trip. And uh, the, in the trip, they find together again. He find the magic again, he find his God again, and he find his son again. And this is a story that uh, I wrote with Guy Nativ and we, we directed together. Uh, Sharon Maimon, uh, a friend of us, uh, is a director too. He, he uh, write with us the script. And uh, at the beginning, if you ask me how uh, we to take the, the idea, the idea is, in the beginning it was in Poland. It's uh, something about my grandfather, uh, the grandfather of Guy, uh, that uh, someone saved their life when they are. They was a ch a children in in uh, Valsha, uh, so we going me and guy going to the trip in Valsha to find someone that didn't exist. We said we we going to the airport and said okay we want to find uh, someone like Papa Lucas, uh, and uh, everybody that give us names go in there and go in there and that's how we do the research how to find people. In, uh, in when you're going to another country, this is the the research of the movie, and then we find that the uh, the Holocaust of uh, of Greek was uh, very unique, <coughs> and uh, nobody told the story about a uh, Saloniki Jewish people that uh, uh, a lot of them died in the in the war in the Second War, uh, uh, so. Uh, we, we took the, the idea into Saloniki. Yeah. Okay, so that's a very personal um, kind of research. Yeah. Um, where do you find your stories in general? You find them in your life? Just in my life. If uh, I tell you about the new film that I made, it's my life. Everywhere I look for a story, it's, a, it's something near me. Uh, uh, even the story about the magic man, uh, matter of size, uh, uh, strangers. Uh, this is the first film that I made with Guy Nativ. Uh, uh, it was uh, personal. Everything is personal, but the last one it was the very personal because it, it's called, uh, as I said, uh, the art of waiting. Uh, it's about a couple that. Uh, going to treatment to make children. Uh, 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 me and my wife, Moran, have the treatment of six years, and uh, now we have two children. It's a good ending. Oh. Uh, Mazel tov! <laughs> but I understand that uh, I go all the time look for uh, another story for another people. And uh, after I, I have a story of myself, I'm afraid to do it. Because uh, now, what to, to do, to tell my, uh, to myself, my wife, no. Uh, so I made a short film called uh, Sirens. Mm -hmm. uh, we shot it in uh, uh, last year. And uh, after I show it in a lot of screening, in the festival, everybody left. 
thought that it's a comedy and they didn't know that it's comedy. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a, a, the idea to do it more comedy in the feature film. So I have the courage to do it. So <laughs> that's why I, I made it last year and in November it's going to release in Israel. The art of waiting. And it's a, it's a full uh, evening, like how a many feature minutes? Film. Uh, a feature okay. film. A feature film that's going to theaters. Uh, and it's based on... Uh, and, uh, and on my, on my, my, uh, my relationship with my w wife. And uh, the short film was uh, very... Uh, it, it took one day in the treatment and that's it. In the, in the feature film, it's all the way to children. <laughs> <laughs> from <Okay>. the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I see. Uh, okay, so let's dive into another uh, movie. It's called uh, Dear God. La mer qu'on voit danser le long du golfe clair a des reflets d'argent. La mer des reflets changeants sous la pluie. La mer au ciel d'été. Again, what's the story about in the movie? This is the story about the, uh, a, a one man that they work at the Kotel, the Kotel Amaravi, in an old uh, city in, uh, in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, is uh, just keep that everybody will be in with with kippa. Just, just this is his job. So we work there, and uh, I I saw an article in uh, in the internet. There is a guy, a guy like that. Uh, me and Guy Nativ that they directed the right with me the film, we go into the uh, old city and saw this guy and told him uh, maybe we can uh, do a film about him. And he said, it's not interesting. I don't do anything interesting. Uh, we said, okay, we want to be with you one day. What you said, okay. So uh, all the day, uh, 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 have, uh, is sitting and eating uh, apples, and uh, in the end of the day, he going to the, the all the notes and put them out, and got uh, took in a uh, bag and going to the cemetery and burned them in the uh, in the in the dirt. So, as we said, okay, now we have the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, nobody knows. How is not objective it, uh, if it's interesting or not. We thought it's it's very unique. So the film is about this guy, Leo Ashkenazi played the film, uh, the, the, uh, the the character, that uh, uh, he he saw that a woman have a notes in the in the hotel, and they want to uh, make her happy. And he all the time read what she uh, writes, and he want to uh, give her a, a gift of all the things that he, she wants. And this is the story that we want, and that it, when you can see it in uh, online if you want. Can I say something? Sorry. Sure. Yesterday we had a movie evening, and we saw this movie. It's an amazing one. You should all see it. It's Thank online. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so where can we see the movie now, if we weren't yesterday? Yeah, you have uh, online the movie, I think. Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. Yeah. Yeah. 
In English, you can read. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. this is the story, and it says uh, two, 12 minutes, <coughs> like that. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, I, I will tell you why to, why to do short film and uh, why, if you sh shoot the feature film, why you do short film, that everybody, everybody asks me. So I tell you, uh, you have uh, to do a feature film, it's one year uh, of writing, uh, three months of uh, pre-production, uh, maybe months uh, in the good way, uh, months to shoot the film and after we have one, one year of editing. This is, uh, this is the process of, uh, to make a film. Uh, short film is not so uh, hard, but uh, in the way, if you do a feature film, all the time you, have, uh, you want to do more. Uh, if, if you in the editing, if you writing something, so uh, sometimes it's good to to make a short film to be in shape. And uh, another thing uh, for me, short film is a art like a, a, a feature film. It's the same for me. Uh, if you make a short film very good, it's uh, for me it's the best because uh, uh, this in this way you can. Uh, I take the, the idea and do it a feature film like I did in the the last one and I, like I did in uh, Strangers. Mm -hmm. uh, my first film was a short film. Uh, yesterday uh, we saw uh, in, in uh, Annette uh, show uh, the, the short film and uh, after we, we did, me and Guy did a uh, uh, feature film. It's easy to, to uh, show the film to fans and the uh, invested and uh, tell them uh, we want to do it a feature film and they, they trust you more. So that's why I do a short film. And sometimes like this, I find a good story. If I find a good story, it's good for me to do it in a short film. Even I want to do a feature film for this. Okay, so you, you speak about prototyping also. So it's not only storytelling, it's also prototyping. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what fascinates you <coughs> about the process? I mean, every idea that you have is successful, or like, how many ideas do you follow, and then in the end you have something coming out of it? Uh, there is a, a lot of ideas that every <coughs> every day I, I I think about it. If uh, if I'm going, if there is a. a, a it's in my mind uh, for a lot of time I write it if uh, it's going away so it left uh, there is a lot of script that I write that don't don't go anywhere I try to read uh, try to write and I see I see that it's not working and I leave I leave this uh, idea but uh, if uh, if the idea is good it will work uh, that's what I believe if I write it and it's work and everybody uh, read it and think it's good, so I uh, have the production in the end. So you, you give it also to people before? Yeah, uh, all the time. I write the draft. <laughs> draft is the first draft. It's, uh, it's the process of uh, I finished one draft, one uh, version, and I. Uh, I give to friends and not friends, even uh, enemies, uh, <laughs> to, uh, to 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 read the script. And if they said the same problem, I delete them or I change them. And then, uh, this is the the way I uh, how I work. Yeah. Okay. Um, talking about the way you work, um, I found on the internet also. Uh, other people making movies like Pixar, for example, and uh, maybe you know them, and they have an interesting theory about storytelling. Um, maybe we can just have a look on what they say about this process. Although our movies involve hundreds of people and take years to make, they all begin with a simple idea about some world and character. What if there's life out there in the universe? What if 
a rat wanted to cook hot cuisine. What if the, our toys that you know are all around us actually were sentient and can come alive? These what if questions invite the imagination into a story we want to explore. Let's hear how our story artists use what ifs. Um, so what if questions kind of really drive that imagination? The best what ifs are questions that uh, sort of, they feel like a key that unlocks a door. It really shuts down the logic part of your brain and it lets you engage the dream part of your brain and somehow it opens up the doors to imagination or at least for me it does. And what if sort of seems to ask this question to let yourself wonder. Not only fun, but they're a simple way to communicate a story idea and kick off our entire creative process. So it's important to be able to communicate stories in this concise way. In the next exercise, you'll reframe your three favorite films in terms of what if statements. Okay, so let's do an exercise together. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, someone from uh, the, the people here are uh, uh, filmmakers. There's a filmmaker here. Mm -hmm. I would I would tell you what I uh, uh, do when uh, I go into a producer and I tell him this, the the uh, the idea. And if he if said it cannot be, I do it. <laughs> if he said okay, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, because uh, uh, everything, everything is uh, uh, that is uh, very complicated. Even the film, uh, um, uh, Dear God, we have to shoot it in the, the real uh, world in, uh, in in the old city. And uh, we came to the producer and said, uh, nobody shot a film there from Golda in the 80s. The Golda it was a Hollywood production of uh, HBO or something like that, and uh, they they have a lot of money and you don't have money and you can't shoot it there. Nobody shoot there. So uh, we took uh, the we shot the film in a big, uh, a big uh, uh, camera, but the, the area with the, the wall, we shot it in a small camera. Nobody knows that uh, okay. we shot it. <laughs> so that uh, we have, uh, we, sh we shoot the, the, the garden. That that's what they think, and uh, all the time uh, we we uh, have a monitor very far, and the the cinematographer was there, and with the actor. But the, the actor, this is the problem, is very famous in Israel. So, but everybody saw, see him. He said, "Okay, he looked like Leo Ashkenazi, but he's not." And go, <laughs> someone came, and uh, it's a religion guy. He saw there, he saw him, and uh, he walk about. Uh, uh, after him, and he said, "You the Leo Ashkenazi?" And said, "No, no, no, I'm not." not. <laughs> then you Leo Ashkenazi? No, no, I'm not Leo Ashkenazi. I'm Leo work here. No, you don't don't work here. So he goes to the rabbi of the the world and tell him that uh, there is a problem. There is someone shoot the film, and they took our producer that say not no to the, <laughs> the oh. uh, and after uh, they. Uh, took him to the rabbi, we shot the film. So, he came back, there is a film. So, <laughs> and then we, we came back to, uh, to, to the reshoot there again. <coughs> uh, nobody know that we, we've been there. So, uh, everything is, it's, it can be. Uh, uh, I said, don't, uh, if you have a go good ideas, do it, not uh, just uh, someone will stop you, but it can be. Everything can be. Everything, if, if, every, every, every idea can be. So you have to stick to your plan. Yeah. This is the... Uh, 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 even my, my, uh, my story, uh, me and my wife, the last film, uh, I, in the beginning, everybody said uh, nobody want to see it because it's very sad. It's very sad, uh, uh, but I, I made it a comedy. And another thing, a, a matter of size about the fat people. We I will see it in a second. Yeah, as I'll tell you after. Okay, <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> 
And this exercise, just uh, do it at home, okay? <laughs> רגע. 155. יש בא לך גאולה, אני מה זה משתדל? מה זה משתדל? אני יכולה לשמור אותך משמין. טוב, יאללה, רד, רד. אוי, כל זה בשבילי? למה לא נסגר את הדלת? כי אתה שמן, זה נאמר. מה זה שני שמנים בחיתול עם טיסרוגת של דוגמנית? תהרוג אותי, אני לא מבין איך אין סונו בארץ. מה אתה רוצה? אין שמנים בארץ. אני הולך לפתוח חוג סומו לשמנים פה ברמלה, שאתם לא תדעו מאיפה זה בא לכם. מי בא איתי? אהרון, מה יש לך? אני עוזב את הדיאטה והולך להיות מתאפק סומו. סומו זה לא רק להיות שמן. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
photos. Yeah, it's in Fauda. Fauda. Fauda now is a, a, a very <coughs> a dramatic role, <laughs> but uh, before it was very funny. Uh, <laughs> before. And uh, uh, after uh, we took the actors, <laughs> we came to the meeting with the, the uh, Israeli film founder, they all the time said, okay, but what can you do with the cast? And then we have a sign and F, all the cast came to the, the, the uh, office, a small office, they are big. Uh, all the four of them came with the mawashi, it's the underwear. <laughs> and they started to laugh and said, okay, they, do the film. <laughs> and we did, we give you the money. Uh, so uh, wh what I tell you, uh, if, if uh, I depend on uh, the ideas of uh, other people and uh, I said every, every idea it can be every idea uh, so believe the, the, your idea and uh, go with this yeah. that sounds good um, do you have any questions? <coughs> it's really hard uh, to make a movie in Israel you manage to make so many in a short period of time and you're so determined. Uh, do you have a trick to uh, turn it on when you need it or how do you just keep uh, going forward like a bulldozer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, it, uh, the, when I, uh, uh, first time I made a film, it's, uh, it's Strangers. It's a very uh, small movie for four people in the set. Uh, I, I understand that you have to work all the time. You have to uh, wake up in the morning and start to write. All the time working and working and I, I like this job. It's not that, that it's a punishment for me. I like to write. I like to meet people and write with them. I like to work with them. my friends that uh, work with me. And uh, even uh, I have uh, some, some, some uh, days that I work in the two scripts, uh, some, uh, some days with that script, some days with that script. Uh, uh, th that's why uh, I, I, I think that uh, I work more than others, because uh, I think uh, the work that I, d I do is very uh, hard, I work very hard. Uh, uh, nobody said, okay, go tomorrow and, and shoot the film. You have to fight on this. In Israel, it's small a small, uh, small, uh, small uh, country, and th there is not a lot of money. And, you, uh, and I have an idea, and, and uh, I write it, and I'm fighting for, to do it, uh, uh, to send it to f Israeli film fans, and uh, uh, talk to with people, uh, uh, investors, uh, private investors. If you have someone, it's good. That's why. I, that's what I do. Uh, uh, the the reasons that you see that there's a lot of films, uh, it's because I work. That's it. <laughs> that nobody. Uh, if you work and you have the good ideas, <coughs> that's what you do. Yes, please. One more. Hi. Um, I'm a musician, I'm not a, a, a filmmaker, but I always have this feeling after a release that there is this kind of postpartum, like you feel there's a, like a drop and a, a sort of depression that comes out uh, after that. So I was just wondering how you motivate yourself after a film comes out to, okay. to go on to the next project as you do? Yes, there is a sum of uh, kind of uh, ways like that. It's after you uh, writing the first draft of the script, everybody don't like it, so it's very <laughs> depressing. So we work out to do it more good. Yeah. And uh, from the draft to draft it's better, so uh, if not, you pressed again <laughs> and, and uh, then you're going to uh, to shoot the film uh, the producer tell you you don't have uh, 30 days you have 
uh, maybe 25 days uh, to cut out a lot of uh, pages. You decide what, but do it. And this is depressing. So you can, uh, you can uh, do, uh, you can work about this. What can you do? This is the way how you make movies. And after you shoot the, you shoot the film, and after you see the results, all the time, I am, I don't know, other people I depressing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I don't go to the editing room. I have the, my uh, editing uh, uh, editor, uh, it's uh, Nat Glazer Zahri. She uh, put, take the first uh, version of the film. And after it was better, and now I show the people, again, again depressing. <laughs> And then we finish the movie and uh, we close the movie and, uh, uh, and the film is ready and then you're depressed why you don't all the time work about this. What can you, why wait? Why I all the time work on work and now I wait for what? You write for release. And all the time you have this in, in art, I think in art, in movies. Uh, that's why it's a... Uh, the answer for your question. Uh, uh, I have uh, another project that uh, it's very, uh, you, uh, very close. So I can, uh, if I depressed from this, I will happy with this. <laughs> this is how I do it, uh, and I understand that that's how it, it work. Uh, we have feelings. We are people. We're not, uh, you know, we people, just people, and. Uh, uh, if you are this, you are very uh, sensitive, and everything is very sensitive. But that's why it's it's look good. Maybe your uh, it sounds look your uh, music. Uh, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Erez. Thank I'm, you. Thank you so much for coming and for sharing your story. I hope we're not too depressed now. <laughs> no, I'm happy very much. I, my, my film is going to release in uh, November, and I, I'm going to shoot uh, another film in, uh, in uh, close to November, very, very uh, uh, like the release of the film. Uh, so uh, now I work about this, and I don't get depressed. I, 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 don't, I don't depress, uh, I'm just happy all the time. You know? Yeah, you don't, don't depress. You uh, seem sometimes quite relaxed. you have uh, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, a point that, uh, like you said, it's uh, it's not, you don't work. You want to work more and to do more. But uh, you know, this is the procedure of uh, art of the films. Yes. Okay. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. session on uh, Preserve, uh, we had a last minute inspirational uh, email we got this week. It's a Kickstarter project that we love and they have five more days. So maybe we can help them. It's um, Olivia. Olivia, she's over there. Hi, Olivia. They're um, trying um, to um, collect money for a very, um, very um, wichtig, important. important, thank you so much, uh, story about Karl Lutz. He was a diplomat, a Swiss diplomat in Hungary and during World War II and he saved um, a lot of Jews. Uh, by giving them, um, I think, um, Swiss passport. Yeah, Schutzbriefe, um, so they could move to uh, to Switzerland, or they stay there at the embassy. And with the letter, they were kind of giving Swiss um, protection, yes. maybe. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we would like to uh, send you home with a bit of hope in your heart and. We uh, have still uh, halot, 
and Rogalech and uh, our barista uh, Pascal is making more uh, coffee. So uh, stay with us um, <clears throat> or go and enjoy this beautiful day. Um, we will see each other uh, in June again, I hope so. I wish you a wonderful day and thank you much, so much for coming.